Good morning, this is in Shaman Oracle reading for Thursday. And today I'm finishing up the reading for this week. And today I'm reading for Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius and Pisces. And this reading here is for Sagittarius. Welcome Sagittarius. I'm using five cards from five different decks. And the reading starts with the Virculite Oracle card. And that one is called Inner Temple. The cards from this deck, they have categories assigned to each card, like Confirmation, Inquiry, Action, Activation, and Transmission. And the Inner Temple card is an action card relating to devotion and to tuning in to the portal of your heart. You are being called to be a devoted student and to tune in to your heart and incorporate true devotion into your life. You could be being called to develop a regular meditation or do some journaling or chanting practice or to show up to your soul with some kind of a rhythm to develop a daily practice where you fill up your well and spend time with your soul all of the answers to all of the questions that you seek are waiting for you in the portal of your heart. But you cannot hear them unless you carve out some time each day to listen. Your soul is yearning for a deeper relationship with you and so the more time you spend with it, and show up to it, the more clearly it will guide you. We are all here on earth to grow and to help our souls by doing that work. Earth is one big playground for the soul to learn. And you are being called to go deeper in your soul growth or to increase your devotion by being a student of a lineage or a spiritual teacher. If you have already been a committed student, then you are being commended for your devotion. Your guides want you to know how proud of you they are and that the time you spend in devotion is priceless. So if you are questioning your career or your life path, your guides want you to turn your focus toward devotion and say this affirmation. Please use me in a way that delights my mind, body and soul. May my life be one big moving prayer. And the work your light action says, commit to a daily devotional practice. Card number two is the Priestess of Light Oracle card. And out came precognition. And the card precognition is about psychic ability and future vision. The Egyptian priestess on this card has developed a profoundly heightened psychic ability. She looks peacefully into the light hovering over her right hand, where the images of the future reveal themselves. A soft glow emanates from her throat center 
and prow chakra radiating from beneath her hawk headdress. The hawk aids her in reaching higher levels of consciousness. This messenger bird represents expansive psychism and future vision. This card in the reading indicates that you are now capable of reaching new heights of intuition and precognitive abilities. In fact, you may have already noticed flashes of insight and a deeper awareness. If so, trust the information you receive and let yourself look even deeper into the potential meanings of your future visions. There may be important messages coming your way. These may take the form of guidance about future choices or inspirations about creative, career-related or personal projects. Remember that your soul vibrates at a level of spirit connection. And for this reason, this card may also indicate a potential career involving psychic or intuitive practices. In fact, you may have had such a career in your past life. Know that your soul is calling you to reconnect. Take time to meditate more so you can peacefully receive messages. Let yourself trust your growing intuition. The spirit world is open to you, ready to re reveal your future potential and all that you need to know Now, say this affirmation, I am one with the spirit world. Every day, my psychic abilities grow. Next card is the Angel Guide Oracle card, an outcome opportunity and change. And your message is that one door closes and another one opens. This is a time for change. Your angels are drawing close to support you in making the changes that you need to make to attract opportunities and abundance. You may have experienced resistance recently or Maybe you felt stuck, but the new beginning that you are seeking is unfolding now. So if you are hesitating over a decision or wondering what to do about a particular project, your angels are encouraging you to go with the new. Change might bring a sense of vulnerability or present you with the unknown, but it will allow you to make a deeper connection to your feelings and gifts and what is important to you. Your guardian angel is waiting to guide you through the doorway of opportunity that is being offered to you now. There is an extended message You are in a time of change and opportunity. Whether this involves a new role, a new career opportunity, a new relationship or project, know that it is blessed by the divine and the angels. This is an exciting time. And if you have apprehensions, know that this card is reassuring you that you are being supported by the divine. If you ask the angels to lead you on your way, you will be guided by science, intuition and instinct. So move forward 
fearlessly as this is a blessed time for you. Now we come to the quantum oracle card and that one is called Angels of the Four Directions. This card deck has cards assigned like consciousness, energy, intention, people, events, spirit, and cycles. And Angels of the Four Directions is a spirit card. And it is about Uriel, Raphael, Michael, and Gabriel. The light of an angel reaches out in every direction. And this card indicates a powerful connection taking place at this time. The card reveals the dynamic presence of archangels Uriel and Raphael. Uriel, the angel of the north, is a source of immensely valuable inspiration. If you are working on a creative project or if you just need some new ideas on some old issues, Uriel is ready and willing to help you. This angel connects you to the universal energy and Akashic information that exists all around you. So call on Uriel to leave any dark confusion behind and bring the insight that you require at this time. This fire of God, that's another name for Uriel, will certainly light up your life. The next messenger of this card is Raphael, the archangel of the east. This wonderful angel supports you with matters of love, of healing and relationships. So invite his presence to help resolve your love and relationship issues and to bring the physical healing that you desire. The energy of this angel is so powerful, he is often called the miracle worker. When you receive this card, you know that it is time to open your heart and your life to Raphael's loving assistance. The miracle you seek is closer than you think. See this affirmation, I invite the power and wonderful energy of Uriel, Raphael, Michael and Gabriel. I ask for their help and their healing and I give my thanks. And next card and also last card is the Shaman Stream Oracle card and that one is called Unmarked Trail. And the Unmarked Trail is about an unprecedented experience, some discovery and revelation. You are called now to embark on a sacred journey. The Arthurian knights in their quest for the Holy Grail had to make sure to take an unmarked trail that no one had ever followed or they would not accomplish their goal. Likewise, you must enter the darkest forest of your soul via a route as yet unidentified to find what you seek. The many cured paths you will only temporary no the many cured paths will bring you only temporary pleasure and later create pain. So stop it. You already know there is no reward at the end of the road that you are following. 
you are only killing time. So pause, breathe and commit in your heart to a sacred endeavor. Vow to not look for old solutions that may have worked with past challenges. Get out of character and try the outrageous and keep your quest private. Now is not a time to speak of the voice that called you to embark on the unmarked trail. That time will come. The unmarked trail can be a sign that you have already made a choice, even if you do not want to acknowledge it. Be at peace with what your heart knows to be true. Your heart has already been made up and your mind will follow. So pack lightly, taking with you only the essential beliefs that you know to be trustworthy under all circumstances. The universe has your back. So start walking the unmarked trail. So that was your reading, Sagittarius. Thank you very much for listening. I wish you a wonderful day today. And I will be back on Saturday or Sunday with some short something. Okay, take care and goodbye.